else, you know? All right. You know what? Too nice for too long. I need to be honest. This shit ain't cutting it no more. All right. Look, I played three races. I played three races. Okay. Skill issue. All right, whatever. Skill issue. Great. Okay. This is race number three. Okay. I don't think I spent less than 0.2 milliseconds without contact and then straight off the road and, and I'm just out of the race at this point. So I don't care. That was the least annoying of the three hits. This is hit number two, right? And it's like, I, I'm just unable to almost get into the race to care enough to keep going. Now, if we were like 45% in and some of these things happen, then I'd probably keep going. But like, I'm not spending more than 0.5 milliseconds without contact. Whatever that is, and then just, okay? That's race number two. Race number three. I've been on the game for 10 minutes, bro. 10 minutes, bro. Stream started 17 minutes ago. I sat there for five. This this is race. This is the first race. I'm like, all right, maybe this is going to be a good experience today. Boom. I just, like, okay, it's getting to the point where, like, I, you just got to be honest, right? Is anything going to happen that's going to, like, change how this game feels? Like, am I going to get different playlists? Like, touring car playlists so I can only play touring car? Am I going to get these things? It's very early, so I hope they change it, but, like, if you guys are wondering why there haven't been that many videos on the channel, which, by the way, if you guys want to become members of the channel, you can. Um, we now have memberships available on YouTube, but I just... I, I, I don't... That's my gameplay experience. Most of the time, if not all the time. I don't know if it's because people see the gamer tag and then they just feel like obliged to put me into a wall. And I know those were all racing incidents right there, right? Like those are very obviously just racing incidents in this game because if you're anywhere near anybody else in the first two corners, you just get like, like destroyed. The, yeah, exactly. Somebody just said in chat, cause I'm live right now. I've only been live for 18 minutes. I'm already tired of it. Um, this game you should be ghosted for the first 10 percent of the race it needs to be mandatory i'm just going to keep playing clips of funny stuff happening in the grand race over me talking right now but there needs to be crazy amounts of changes to the grand race and the way it's played i mean it's fun don't get me wrong when it goes right but like dude my competitive drive like okay if you start in the back of the pack it's great it's cool to go from last to first right but a lot of these races now because i'm, I'm seeing the queues start to get longer and slower i have a friend or if not two friends that are very very good drivers in at least every single race or there's somebody else good that i don't even know in every single race that's like goaded right if they start in a higher pole position and i start in like 25th and i get slammed to one corner that one guy is gone Yes, sir. Yo, Wise Defect, appreciate you for the sub, my boy. We're going to keep streaming, too. I'm not getting off. I don't want y'all to get that twisted. Appreciate you for the gifted sub, my boy. We're not getting off. But, like, if there's anybody else good in the race and you get slammed on that first corner, you're not catching them, bro, because they're not going to mess up. People have already memorized these grand race lines. I don't even play the game that much, and I know most of all of them, if not all of them, whenever I see it. I know exactly what's going to happen. I know all the shortcuts. So most of these good drivers, Simji, Goliath, Kois, um, a lot of the other guys too, I can't even remember names right now. I haven't played the game in like six days, but dude, I mean, they're just going to keep going. They're not going to mess up these lines. They're not going to mess up these shortcuts, right? So it's just like, if you mess up once it's over. And if you don't play the game every day, the grand race is kind of a, a discouraging place to be. Cause there's not like just ongoing, like single playlist. I don't know what they can do to change it though. Because like, I'm, it's like, I get on. And if I want to do the summit, I have to grind parts for like eight hours. Yeah, if you slip, for, you'll catch first. Yeah, if you slip, you'll catch first. But you have to slip with somebody else that's very, very good. Um, like you can, like if I'm playing with like four goats, for example, right? Like I'm playing with the crazy four guys that I've played with before, right? If I like get back and I slip with Kois, right? Or somebody like that, we can slip back up to first right that can happen i'm just saying if you're solo queuing because most of my recent play has been by myself i haven't been playing with anybody else i get on at random times when i get off work because i've been working a lot now i wish streaming could support me 100 percent so i could be here every day guys but you know i gotta be realistic i have a real car real things to handle um and yeah i've been working a lot so i apologize for the lack of videos i don't do this full time yet hopefully one day i will that's the goal just, you know, keep grinding with me. I really appreciate you guys for all the love, okay? But it's like, dude, 
when I get home and I just want to play and I haven't been playing all day 24-7 because I don't have an at-home job to sit here and play the game, I get a couple days off, I get a little rusty, I get in my first game and I just, I get slammed into a wall, I can't even practice. And if I'm not playing the grand race, to be honest, you know, people don't really want to watch the other events where I'm just hitting the retry button unless it's Summit the first night. And then after that, I mean, people are slipping, people are doing crazy stuff to get into first and I'm just, there's no enticing, there's nothing that makes you want to get above Platinum, which is top 10,000, which to be honest, if you can't get into Platinum, guys, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be disrespectful with this comment, but you can get into Platinum with your eyes closed, right? Like, getting into Platinum is not that difficult. Like, top 10K is not that crazy. So it's like, I have a good gameplay loop one time per week. But on top of that, since we're talking about it, I don't even care to play the... I don't even care to play the Summit. I haven't even touched the Summit. I haven't. You know why I haven't touched the Summit? Bro, look, look at these rewards, bro. Who cares, bro? Like, who cares? Like, who honestly cares? That American Dream kit is cool, and that's probably the only reason I'm going to play it. But, like, bro, look at these rewards, bro. I have that car. I don't need it again. 10 legend points. Or I can just go through a checkpoint for 20 minutes and then wait for the update to drop. Like, bro. The main stage car, pretty cool, right? Main stage car, pretty cool. That car was in the last game. I don't know if you guys knew that, but some people already had the main stage car. Most rewards are Crew 2 rewards. Yeah, I already have all these rewards. Right? The American Dream Kit is probably the only cool thing out of all of these. French Touch Smoke? Brother, you and I are not putting on French Touch Smoke, bro. We're not rocking that. We don't care. Right? And I don't even know what the events are for this, nor do I know what the other rewards are, because this game does give you other rewards on top of that. But we don't even get a full set. For We only get two parts. In the last game, we got full to half sets. We never got singular parts, bro. And it wasn't random either. It was at least a Nitro Chemist with, like, two Nitrous attributes. Like, this is just random. Like, these two gold parts could be two different things. This could be a score breaker and a live rewards frequency with bended and whatever on it because for some reason bended rolls on cars that aren't even bikes you know what i'm saying which i get because you can put the parts wherever but like it's just like there's little things that could change rewards better a unique car every summit might be too much to ask for every other summit please a unique new tire or vanity item in each summit please please pretty please special rewards or xp um gifts or money gifts for top 1000 top 5000 top 100 top 50 players maybe M maybe maybe just more rewards more reason to grind to care because after i hit platinum i don't care i promise you if i bought both those cars right now put random gold parts on every car and just ran the summit i would just get platinum i don't have to have sets right but if you want to grind the summit you need sets in order to like get close to people but like realistically bro you don't need this stuff and it's just like it makes the great game like and you know the parts don't apply to multiplayer appreciate you swag for the follow so it's like that's that we need to have like an open playlist where you have parts now will it make it a lot more sweaty yes but like you know i don't know i mean i just feel like they need to be i need to grind for a reason like i need to be having to grind rally parts for a reason the thing is, right, too, like, the main stage, it really is, like, our new motor pass. And the amount of stuff in it is just, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. One car. Big difference in map size. It's like you versus the guy she told you not to worry about that was in her life before. And you're wondering why you got ghosted. It's because her ex came back. You know what I mean? That's what the crew 2 is. But the difference is, the multiplayer in this game, you know what's crazy? And I'm not going to sit here and cap. Motorfest feels more replayable. Because I actually couldn't replay. Like, I didn't care to go through all the missions in the crew, too. Like, that game is so overwhelming. And maybe it's because I didn't play it straight from the beginning and, like, grind it out the entire time. But that game is so overwhelming of, like, content that, like, I can't even dive into it, bro. I'm like, holy shit. Like, now. Right? But... I, I don't think this game's a wreck. I don't think this game's a wreck. I don't even think this is a bad game. I just think that when you compare 
the motor pass in the crew two right now to this completely confusing to navigate menu by the way to this main stage bro like how am i supposed to you know what i mean now guys just to clarify this was just our little rant i had on stream but i wanted to share this with you guys because it is truly how i feel about motorfest at this point i'm starting to get to the point where i'm starting to get very bored of the game uh, i'm tired of the repetitive gameplay loop and i think at a certain point maybe it's because i've grinded the game for almost 300 plus hours at this point but um, I know some of you guys feel the same and we're voicing these opinions to me So I wanted to put it out there um, The truth about this game and just the lackluster amount of rewards because honestly I think you can hold a game like this together simply with rewards It was super refreshing going back and playing the crew too to go for the uh, rx7 and the summit right now Which if you get it platinum and get that car in December It might have a performance increase over the other rx7 So I just decided to go ahead and go for it because it looks pretty sick as well So if you guys want to go back and play the crew too to get that platinum I I highly suggest it pretty sure the game's pretty cheap on the store right now i have no idea for sure but you could probably find a cheap key somewhere but yeah man i really want to grind motorfest out but just the multiplayer like the way the the shape and form and the the like the current state the current state of the grand race right now is just like if you don't get an amazing start it's just a terrible experience at least for me um as a casual player i would say at this point um, before i guess you could say i was like a hardcore player but now i come back i want to make some content for you guys yes i'm decent at the game but i'm not like crazy cracked and i'm just trying to enjoy my racing experience and i'm making contact with people every 0.5 seconds i think the main thing i want to take away from this video is just please fix the grand race give us better rewards for our accomplishments in the game um the rng for loot i know i didn't mention it in this video but i can make a whole video about how bad the loot system in this game is um and it just shows how stingy you guys are with the legendary parts with the rewards in the summit in comparison to the crew too everything i showed you guys every time it said those gold parts that were like in a circle that's like a full set of gold parts now it's not necessarily all nitro chemistry or anything and those are random but the main summit reward is usually a half set or even sometimes a full set that has specific a fixes that will help that main overall uh, um, set out so i appreciate you guys for tuning in these are just some of the things i want for motorfest in the future i'm going to still be uploading motorfest but i am going to start uploading the fps content on this channel as well instead of my fps channel just because i think everything should just be here i don't want to start venturing off um every now and then if i have like just clips or maybe montages i'll post it over there um so if you guys want to check that channel out it's down below in the description but i appreciate you guys for tuning in to today's crew motorfest video i have a finals video coming out very soon as well as some modern warfare 3 content talking about that game dropping the campaign and the reviews behind it as well let me know what else you guys want to see from the channel it's been magic iq and let me know about your guys' motorfest experience am i just tripping have i just overplayed the game for myself um just the single player content once it's done i kind of feel like there's just not as much to dive into the free roam acts aspect doesn't really work um just because the cross play isn't there and most of my friends are on pc so i don't know man i appreciate you guys for tuning in let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one and i'm out peace